the house was built in 1929 for the McNair family, and it was designed by a renowned architect by the name of Lorenzo Winslow. He was in Greensboro at the time, but he also moved into the D.C. area and worked on the Truman Library for the White House. Think about way back when, this would have been a country home, so it does give it that kind of country estate feel. It's just so peaceful, and the owners do sit out back and, and listen to the birds and watch them come and go. And the feel of not being in the city, it's just kind of a peaceful place to be. This is a very large home and you know when I when I started thinking about how are we going to tackle this yeah I could have gone all over High Point and spent a whole lot of time that just would have been unbearable or we could go find a good one-stop shop and that's what Furniture Land South is for me is kind of a one-stop shop and being an independent designer I don't have a staff of people to track orders and track deliveries and all of that. So being able to partner with Furniture Land South was huge for me. You know, we did every little piece from the lighting to the rugs, accessories, accent pieces, all the furniture throughout the house is from Furniture Land. So it was a one-stop shop and she really didn't have to go elsewhere. And it was nice because I knew all the manufacturers too that we were working with. Working with Emily was just an absolute dream. She is, we just clicked and the clients really clicked with her too, and it just was a really, really enjoyable process. You'll notice there's quite a few stairways throughout the house, and we have done custom runners throughout, which have turned out really well. Furniture Line can do so much more than just your everyday sofa and chair. There's so much more to it. So in the formal living room, the ceiling and the rug, we try to play off one another. You'll notice that there's the medallions in the ceiling that are original to the home, which we pulled out in the rug as well. We did deliveries in phases as construction was completed in different areas. Um, so that in itself was a challenge. They're bringing things onto a job site you know, that's active and um, they, they just were so, so great. They really were, they were so great. They, um, the first team, in fact, was so good that I requested that that same team be used for every delivery. You know, you often worry when things are coming in, especially large pieces, large heavy pieces, you worry about walls getting bumped into or, you know, doorways getting nicked, but they were just so cautious and so careful with everything that they did. Um, it really gave me a lot of confidence in y'all's ability to not only provide these beautiful furnishings but to get them set in place. The basement is a particular favorite of the owners. Um, they are originally from Florida and of course down there nobody has a basement and it took some talking to get them to agree to, to upfit that space. It was unfinished, it was scary, it was creepy, it was dark, it was awful and um, now it's their favorite place to hang out. My favorite room in the house, I would say, is actually the apartment. It's just very welcoming. So I've been a design consultant with Furniture Land South for eight years, and I would say this project is very special to me because it's very unique. It's the original home from the 1920s, and just watching everything from start to finish, and basically doing every single room in this house has been, and I would say, it's not every day that we work on projects like this. Everything about this project was special. I mean, it just really is one of a kind, from architecture to art and everything in between. There's no way to pick a favorite room. Every room is special. Every room has some unique detail to it, whether it's the faux finish on the walls or a hand-painted mural or ceiling details. I mean, it's just everything is detailed out so spectacularly and of course all of the beautiful furnishings just fit right in. Uh, it, it, it just is seamless and made a beautiful, beautiful home.